Hello everyone, welcome back to Medical Coding Club. This is Chandrika. So today I just wanted to discuss few important medical coding interview questions from ICD-10 conventions. Okay, so as I uploaded one short QA session from my class, uh, you know, everybody was asking me to upload more questions. So I just thought, uh, let me keep few questions for you people. So let's begin. So here, whatever the question that I have added, this is for completely a beginners like who are recently got certified and looking for a job for them. It will be really helpful. So the first question, the abbreviation of ICD-10 CM. So ICD-10 CM stands for International Classification of Disease, which is a 10th revision and CM stands for clinical modification. OK, so with that, also remember every October 1st, this ICD-10 will have the revision and any updates. Then uh, next second question, how is the tabular list organized in ICD-10 CM? So the tabular list organized by chapter uh, based on the body system. Okay, so yeah, coming to alphabetic index, in alphabetic index, we could see the medical conditions uh, in the order of alphabetically. Okay, so that is the difference between tabular list and alphabetic index first we will check the code from alphabetic index later whatever the code we got from alphabetic index we will refer this in tabular list so in tabular list we will have the coding instructions also we can see exclude one note and if any use additional or code first all of the instruction we could see in tabular list only so next what does nec stands for so nec stands for not elsewhere classified okay and also remember what is nos stands for nos stands for not otherwise specified and next what does an exclude one note indicate so an exclude one note means that uh, conditions cannot occur together okay so two conditions uh, which comes under exclude one note we cannot code together whereas exclude two note we will be coding together so next what does the term sequela refer to in the icd coding so sequela refers to a residual condition so just uh, you know just remember sequela is a late effect next how should an impending or threatened condition to be coded so whenever we are coding for any impending or a threatened condition which the provider should specify that the impending condition was occurred Okay, so impending myocardial infraction was occurred. Then only you could assign the particular code. If not, we will just go with the sign and symptoms which are documented. Next, what does a code also not indicate? So code also not indicates two codes may be needed to fully explain the condition. And next, what does the term with the significant like with? What is the meaning of with? So with is used in alphabetic index. Uh, to assume the casual relationship between two conditions unless uh, others specified so this uh, everything i have explained detail in the one more video so please go back and check it next what is the purpose of code first so code the code first says we have to code an underlining condition first and then we can code a manifestation code Okay, so first we have to code the region, then we can be code, we will be coding the manifestation code. So next, what is the purpose of alphabetic index? So as I said earlier, alphabetic index is a list of diagnostic terms, which is listed alphabetically and coders to corresponding codes in the uh, tabular list. So it, it directs you to one particular code range. Next, what does the C instruction indicate? So the C instruction directs order to look up another main term to locate the correct code in the alphabetic index. Okay, so if you look up to carcinoma, you have to go to neoplasm and then you can take the code. So same way, there are many other terms. So where we will be uh, having this C instruction based on whatever the C medical term they have given, uh, we can check from that particular term. Next, what does the three character in ICD-10? So this is the 12th question is regarding the code structure. So if you are not aware in ICD-10 CM, generally the code with the three characters, we will be calling it as 
category code next uh, the code with th th four to five characters we will be uh, calling it as sub category codes and the code with uh, having seven character that we will be considering it as a code okay but a uh, few codes will be you know complete codes we will get in three or four character also that can also be considered as codes only so next uh, how is the condition sequence sequenced when described as both acute and chronic so when the in same medical record we will having both acute and chronic we will be coding both but while sequencing we will be sequencing acute condition as primary primary diagnosis next what does an exclude two uh, note indicate so exclude two indicate the two conditions that are related and may coexistence and we can code together if necessary and then placeholder character which one we are using we are using x and why we are using x like x is a uh, it will have the uh, you know it will create a space for future expansion okay now we might not have a particular code but in future that may get add okay so for that sake we will be using x to complete the code so wherever seven up to seven character is needed there we can utilize x in the middle okay so these are the few questions okay take it as a part one so here few few questions whatever i added these are the most common uh, interview questions so please go through and uh, next i'll try to upload one more video okay so thank you thank you for watching and uh, please do follow me on instagram and uh, please uh, you know if you are uh, preparing for cpc exam then join my pre cpc exam preparation classes if you are a beginner then again i have a course by, where i will teach everything from the scratch so you can also join to that classes so detail i'll mention in the caption or a description so please check and please do share with your medical coding friends and uh, please do subscribe thank you